Hey guys, en route now for the last major mod on the next gen Ranger, and it's all about suspension. So I'm pretty excited about this one. On a recent trip, I certainly found the limits uh, of the capability on 33s and standard suspension. So today we're going for it. We're gonna put on new suspension. I'll take you through the process, a bit of a rationale for why I've gone this way. And as always, you'll get to see um, this off-road tested in the real world as well to see what's the difference. So um, let's get to it. Before jumping into a lift or bigger wheels, check out your local Department of Transport guidelines. This may save you some pain down the line. In part two of this video, I will discuss the engineering process I undertook to get all of my mods approved. Just arrived at 4x4 Extras in Wangara. It's the next major modification for the next gen. I'm really pumped to get into it. Uh, this has been months in the planning. Um, Sean here at 4x4 Extras has been amazing, taking me through the process. Getting parts has been actually a bit of a challenge as well. So um, yeah, let's get into it and um, pumped to see this on the car. Hey guys, just picked up the car. So it's been at uh, 4x4 Extras in Wangara uh, for the last day. I'm here with Sean that you've seen in previous videos. So yeah, pumped to, to get it all fixed. Now uh, you'd recall on the recent trip of the Lennon track, um, suffered a bit of damage on the car. Just hit a few rocks underneath. Side step, underbody, a little bit of uh, broken bits. Yeah, so we think we've reached the limit of what uh, stock suspension is capable of. Um, you would have seen Sean's XLT um, had, a, had a lift, had some of the Ironman gear and he came off a little bit better than me. I think side steps had a little bit of a... Did one side step, yeah. yeah. But otherwise underneath, yep. pretty good. His uh, rear bumper was still good. Yes, <laughs> definitely no broken rear bumper. Maybe you could tell us exactly what we've done on my XLT. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we did uh, heavy front springs for the winch, the bull bar, and the V6 diesel that you've got in yours. We did zero to 300 rear leafs, which holds weight nicely, sits slightly level, a little, little bit up in the back yeah, end, which is what you yeah. want when you load it up. And then we've got foam cell shocks all around, and uh, yeah, all ready to go. Two inch lift, yeah, a lot yeah. more capable. Um, I've set it up for touring, four wheel driving, and also towing. So I've got a, a van which fully loaded is about 2.7 tons. So yeah. uh, with the suspension set up, I've got, I think that'll be good. Yeah, that's why we've got those zero to 300 leafs. We don't want to go too heavy, we yeah. don't want to go too light. It's sort of it's a perfect mix for when you do load it. It should, it should yeah. still sit. Um, and I guess for anyone that's got a heavier setup or a canopy, what sort of suspension would you be recommending? Well, the canopy drawers probably still stick with those springs. If you've got a lot of weight in there, like a custom you know, back end done on the car, then yeah, then we'll go heavier. But most of the time we would still run that, you know, zero to 300, okay. canopy drawers with some bases, it's definitely more than enough. Yeah, and you do a lighter option as well, don't we you? We do a lighter, yeah. So if you do have just an empty ute and lift in the whole car, then yeah. we would run a lighter, run a lighter lift. Yeah, perfect. I think I've talked before, I do trust the Ironman gear, I ran it in my Pajero Sport beforehand. Um, had a bar at the time on the front and yep. handled beautifully, took it to places like Holland Track and it was, was great. So, yeah, looking forward to getting this rig out and about now, but uh, thanks again for all your help, Sean. Right. And no uh, yeah. Suspension is done, so we'll do a quick walk around now and go through what's actually happened to the Ranger. Starting with the rear, we've got the B-Spec Ironman Springs. They're zero to 300 kilo constant load. Uh, we've gone with that because we want to achieve a GVM upgrade of about 220 kilos so uh, that will achieve that and it'll also be great for towing so that's why we've gone for the uh, the B-Spec Springs. Moving on to the front, 
we have the 80 to 100 kilo constant load spring. So we've gone with that because we're running a bull bar and we're also running a winch as well. Um, that'll give us about a two inch lift and we're obviously running the 33 inch tires as well. It has been a bit of a journey selecting the type of suspension that I want to go with and I've been debating on this for months. In the end, I've gone with the Ironman because I trust the Ironman suspension. I ran it on my Pajero Sport. It's well priced and I know it performs. Um, so these shocks are called the foam cell shocks. Uh, it sort of sits in the middle of the range for Ironman. They do a nitro, they do a foam cell, and they do a foam cell pro. Um, the foam cell pros can be that little bit more harder. Um, they are a thicker bore suspension. So the foam cells will be a little bit more forgiving. And look, this is my daily as well as my off-road vehicle. So um, it's a, it was a no-brainer for me to go with the foam cells and I trust them because I ran them in my previous vehicles. Hey guys, we've just arrived at Cervantes. Have a bit of fun in the sand and um, see how the car performs now on its uh, lifted uh, two inch suspensions. All right, this is the thick bit, guys. to get the Ranger out in the sand today with the family. Got to test it out and uh, do a few hill runs and a bit of a rocky section as well, which was good. Really happy with the new suspension. Uh, it's uh, beautiful off-road. Uh, not bouncy at all, nice and firm and secure. So I think this setup's gonna be really good for a whole range of different conditions that I'll be putting it through over the coming years. The final question is how does the vehicle perform on the road? And I'm very pleased to say I'm happy with the performance. Um, it's not too firm or bumpy as can be the case with some aftermarket suspension. Um, it's just balanced very, very well. And stay tuned for the next video for information on how I've achieved a GVM upgrade and I've got the lift engineered on this vehicle. Um, as you would have seen, a little disclaimer at the beginning, you know, check your local regulations. That's really important because when you start changing things on your vehicle, lift, tires, um, you know, you may exceed the guidelines um, by your state. So it's really important that you check those beforehand. Uh, and in WA, um, we've got a 50 mil height limit and there's a few other things that we need to conform with. Um, so I've gone through an engineering process to make sure this vehicle is safe and approved in Western Australia. So that's what the next video will all be about. So um, if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, other than that, if you have any questions on today's install, uh, drop it below. I'll do my best to answer every question. Um, if you're not currently subscribed, new to the channel, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe um, and there'll be more of these sort of videos coming and off-road trips. Uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Bye.